Good morning, boys and girls. Today, I thought I would read you a book about ladybugs since we made ladybugs in our packets this week. We learned how to draw them. So this is ladybugs, red, fiery, and bright. And you can see its wings there. Ladybugs. Little round beetles with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees on flowers and pots. You can see them right here. They are ladybugs. Look how ladybugs is written in red. There's the little girl. A crawling ladybug tickles your arm but this little insect will cause you no harm. They are busy searching for food. Tiny green insects called aphids taste sweet. Can't find those aphids on my roses. Looks like they're on roses here. A ladybug may flee in fear from a hungry bird landing near those sharp claws. But eating a ladybug is a waste to birds. They have a terrible taste. When a female ladybug has eggs to be laid, she finds a safe place on a leaf in the shade. See the eggs? In five days, the yellow eggs will turn white. In five days, the yellow eggs will turn white. The hatching day is now within sight. They change colors before they hatch. Tiny creatures climb out from the creamy white eggs. They have hairy gray bodies and long skinny legs. They are called larvae. Look at them coming out. Hungry larvae search for food right away. They can eat 100 aphids in a day. Remember they have one, two, three. Then on the other side, you can't see the other side of this guy. They have kind of one, two, three, three, and three make six. They have six legs. A larva skin cannot stretch, and since this is so, it must shed its own skin in order to grow. This is called molting. Its skin splits apart. The larva wiggles free. Its new larger skin fits more comfortably. So this is like the skin it's leaving behind. It grows new skin inside and then splits the old skin and there's the new skin. When ladybug larva is almost full grown, it attaches itself to a plant or a stone. It molts one last time. The skin it outgrew. When it emerges, it has become something new. It's a pupa. You can see it's splitting right here. This is the new guy coming out. The pupa is covered by a tougher orange skin. It hides the change changes taking place within. Its worm-like body is rounding out. Its coat becomes smooth. Tiny wings sprout. Sprout means they come out, start to grow out. In five days, the pupa shell starts to crack. Oh, you can see it cracking. A beetle crawls out with no spots on its back. And the baby ladybug comes out with no spots. Soon black spots come into sight. The yellow coat turns red, fiery, and bright. You can see its pupa up there. The new ladybug spreads its wings out to dry. A few hours pass and then it will be able to fly. So here's one set of wings. And here's the second set of wings. 
its spotted wings, its spotted wing covers move off to the sides. It beats its wings and away it glides. So these are the hard wing covers and inside are the soft wings that he uses for flying. The new ladybug with red coat and and black spots crawls through gardens and trees and on flowers in pots. You can see you're flying. And on the top. Let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven ladybugs on this page. This is more information about ladybugs. These are different kinds of ladybugs that they have. There's seven more. All different beetles. Um, here is a diagram that shows the different parts. You can see his antenna, his legs, his head. This is his abdomen. There's one set of wings. <clears throat> the other set of wings. He did labels just like we do in our drawings. That is the end of ladybugs red fiery and bright today i want you to go out and see if you can find some ladybugs in your yard have a great day